Mm. Point differential is minus three. And we have Smasher versus Obi. Got you. Let me go get ready for my game. All right, back. Gene. Good luck, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Guys, you never know who's going to pop up. You in Philadelphia. You in, You got killers everywhere. Got great players all over the place. And I'm not... I'm not familiar with either of these two guys. I see that route wide open, that overthrow right there. EA Carson is way more accurate than that. Fix that. We need an immediate adjustment on that because Carson is the best quarterback in the game. So, guys, again, I appreciate all you guys for coming through. We're at 908 North 3rd Street in the beautiful city of Philadelphia. I am Philly Ryan. So happy to be with you guys again. For the second major event, EA sanctioned major event in Philadelphia. It's been a minute since the tournaments have been here. The tournaments are back. The underground tournaments are coming back. EA put some sanctioned events here. We are going to be bringing them underground tournaments back here at local host 908 North 3rd Street, Philadelphia. Pennsylvania we definitely appreciate all you guys we have a good a good house full of opponents out here good talent Joker's in here as I said Drini's in here goes is in here big gene dubby dude this is it's a great event even without a lot of people here I see smash over here Obi. I've seen smash play before I believe I believe I've seen him play before but I don't really recall too much good dude. that's good user stick right there that's good user right there. That's good user right there. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why Smasher is showing with Seattle. He should have Minnesota up there. So watch how fast. That gets switched, guys, because the super producer is the super producer. So, Smasher in for the touchdown, 13 to 7 over Obi. And just like that, I took my eyes off of my notes, looked up, and Smasher is now the Vikings. Team Smasher. So, everybody in here like Smasher? We're at the end of the first. We still got plenty of time left. Obi's getting the ball. Who do you guys like? One for Smasher, two for Obi. Let us know. Let us know. One for Smasher, two for Obi. Let's see what the chat says about this. And again, I thank all of you so much for coming through and supporting us. We are at, if this is correct, we're at 357 people. And people are saying, Obi? Oh, Obi going to come back. Good stuff. It looks like the chat is going is saying Obi, so we gotta pay attention to Obi. I'm gonna pay attention to Obi. Drag. What do you, what should I expect from Obi? Let us know. Let me know, Drag. I'm going to some of my vets in the chat to let me know what should I be looking for from Obi. So I'm looking at. See, I like that formation right there because he had four routes on one side of the field. Woo, watch out. Don't get hit stick by Newman right there. Jay Ajayi. From London. The Englishman. Gene versus Goes is setting up. Oh, my God. That game right there. And Gene says he's getting sharp. Boy, oh, boy. I got to tell you guys what that like I told you I like this I like what this man is doing right here I like what Obi is doing drag I'm, I, I might have to I might have to see what you're seeing I might have to see what you're seeing drag if you're telling me Obi over smash the only reason why I'm saying that is because I like how he's using that formation and I told you guys already, I'm a fan of Ace. Beautiful. Look at Carson out there looking great. Arson Carson. Look at Carson looking great. Oh, we making Carson look good. Here we go. 
first and 10 at the 10 yard line. We can't get a first. The only thing we can do is score. He's in that ace. Mm, mm. Is he running slants? With two flats? Is that what we running out here? Shout out to Madden Deli. Shout out to Lights Out. I saw you put something up on that. Not saying he's the only person who runs that. But I will give them credit for information that I've seen online. To see what the community is doing. Come on. The tightest part of the field. The most pressure part of the field. You can move all around the field. People will say, hey, I put up this many yards. Or I have my offense is prolific. Your offense is nothing if you can't score in the red zone. You got to be able to score in the red zone. So right now, Obi has gotten down. He was at the 10. He's lost five yards. We're at third and goal. What will he do here? My chat. I'm sorry, fellas. My chat just dies. I have gameplay, but my chat just dies. So I can't see what you guys are saying. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my God. He had it. He had it early. He had it early. I think Smasher should have took a knee in the end zone. That could bite him. So Obi has to be happy. I mean, listen, there is a silver line in that play right there. Because Smasher took it out of the end zone, he has the opportunity to regain great field position or get a safety out of this. You have to be able to D up right here. Try to give yourself a short field if there's a turnover on downs. Or get some points out of this. What we got here, Smasher? Smash is going to go with that doubles. That wide nine we got by Obi. Got edge. He essentially can come off of either side. Beautiful setup. Beautiful setup. He just wasn't able to get that. Almost had that pick right there. Third and eight at the five yard line. This is why. This is why you take a knee if you intercept that ball. This is why you take. You gotta have what they used to call Madden IQ. You gotta have that. Gotta be aware. Sit, situational awareness. Oh, with the pick and the score. That's why you, you kneel in the end zone. You do not do that. You don't come out. Don't get greedy. Take the knee. Now you're like what what they you know what they all they've always said a good deed never goes unpunished. Your interception just cost you seven points because you came out of the end zone. So 14-14. Obi has tied it up. As again, we are here at Nerd Street Gamers at 908 North 3rd Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The second Madden NFL 18 san sanctioned event. Fellows are playing for opportunity at $150,000. Man, oh man. Life changing money, but at the same time, you're not going to win the whole 150. But it will give you an opportunity to decide if you really want to make this your career or not. You can win enough money that this can really be your career. Where you can say, listen, I'm just going to focus on this all day long. So you do, will have that opportunity. Good run, good run, good run. Smasher. This is like a 20-yard run. Turn that corner. Got that tight slot. What are we going to do here? We want to cover four. See the cover two or cover four. We know we look for out of these double crossing routes, one vertical route, something to the flat. And that's what we have. He brought the safety down too far. Kyle Rudolph. Wow. I appreciate everybody in here.
All right, I, I just saw a shot, Master. I'm not as sure. I'm not sure what I said back then. I'm old, man, so I forgot what I said already. <laughs> but the amount of pick six in this game is greater if he didn't run into. Okay, I see what you're saying. So you're saying if you get it, you have a better shot at just going. I hear you. I can't, but I, I won't. I won't do it. I'll do it if it's in the middle of the field. I'm not doing it if I'm near my my red zone. I'm not doing it in the in the red zone. Touchdown already, Smasher. Smasher, even though he even though he got picked six, he's still playing pretty comfortable, like he's in control of everything. So that's a good thing. He's unwaver unwavered right now. Game versus goal. Gene versus goal in the stream. Yeah, we will be getting that for you guys. They haven't started, so you guys don't have to worry about it. What we're doing here, again, there's a, there's a team behind me. There's a team behind the voice. There's a team behind the event. That team makes sure that everything runs extremely smooth, and you guys have good content to watch at all times. And as I turn, I'm looking at one half of Madden Delhi. Lights out. I see the man. He heard my voice. He popped his head up. Once he gets through the door, there's an open mic right here for him to come over and sit down and say whatever he needs to say, whatever he wants to say. Again, these are guys when I was, when I was, when I had the juice, you know. I was looking and saying, look, man, you got something special. Keep doing what you're doing. So I want to make sure I give him an opportunity. He now has the juice. I want to make sure he has the opportunity to talk about some of the guys or some of the things that he has going on and some of the guys that he has in his movement. Um, because, again, these are our players who we want to make sure we continue to build so that this community can continue to build. Motion, dude, I love this formation. I love, look at the blocks out there. Aguilar with the chop block. Come on, get a giant around that corner, man. Come on, Obi, we got to get him to the end zone. We got to get him to the end zone. Master Gamer is saying Obi's in the best book in that game and avoiding the best form. Master Gamer, expound on that. I'm an old man. I'm not clued into exactly everything that is going on with you fellas. What should he be in, Master Gamer? And when we get a second, oh man, I got royalty coming over to me. I got royalty coming over to me. What we have here is Smasher, Minnesota Vikings versus Obi, Philadelphia Eagles. And as I said, you never know who, who's going to come through when you're here in Philadelphia. We have on my left now one half of Madden Delhi. Lights out. What's going on with you, man? Doing good? How's everything going? Hold on one moment. I just want to make sure that we have everything set up. So, guys, I will formally introduce lights. My super producer had to make sure something else is technically working perfect for us. So give us a moment and I will make sure that we get lights on there. And what I'll do is I want to ask him about this specific formation and what he sees in it. Because I like this... Um, I believe it's not trips offset, but he's running trips where the running back is to this side. It's like a bunch with the running back over. And Lights is a Lights grew up in that compressed offense. He knows all about that compressed offense. And um, I want to make sure I get his his input on in this as well. So we do have lights live, so lights is live. So real quick. I don't know if it's Gunwing stats that he's in. I don't believe that's what it is. Uh, I want to see him when he comes out in this formation. But he is... This dude, I like this guy's offense overall. Even though he's down 21-14, I do like what he's doing. But, again, I'm going to defer because 
Like I told the chat. I used to have the juice. The juice has moved on. And when I'm saying the juice, I used to have I used to have the energy, not the energy. I used to have the movement behind me. Mm -hmm. You've been doing some great stuff with Mad and Delhi. Talk about what you've been doing. Talk about what your brand has been doing. What's the vision going forward? And what you see in this game after that? All right. Well, first of all, driving to Philly, man, brings back so many memories of players ball, Madden yes. challenges. Just just taking this ride. I'm not too far away. Yeah. Uh, in New York, it was about an hour and 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. But just that drive, man, it just brought back so many memories. Like Madden has to be in Philly. Yes. It has to be at least at least once or twice a year. Yes. I didn't get to make it to the uh, the previous event, but I watched yeah. it on stream the whole the whole entire stream and stream was great. So. Uh, and I'm looking forward to playing in the event today. As far as uh, what I'm doing, just a lot of content on okay. Madden Daily. Uh, did a lot yesterday to, to get some stuff out before the event. I didn't even know if I was going to make it. I woke okay. up really late today, but uh, just made it in time. One o'clock cool. uh, delay. But yeah, I'm excited. So I'm actually going to bring out a, a team that okay. I don't think anyone else is going to be using. All right. So uh, in the chat, I can't see the chat right now, but if you guys want to guess... I doubt you'll guess what team I'm using, but it's so going to be interesting. So what do you guys think um, Lights is going to run? I'm going I'm to refresh my chat because it keeps dying on me. There we go. So we have Lights in here with me. Let, let him know. I just gave him the phone so he can see. So let him know what you think he'll be running today. Can you give them a hint? You don't have to tell a player... Or you, what you can say, you can give an attribute of a player in that. Good running back. Okay. Very good running back. Okay. And I'm using an offense that I ran last year. Okay. So if you guys have been following Matt and Daly, you should know what he's talking about. Yep. So uh, going into this game, I don't know much about, I think they're both PlayStation guys. I'm not, okay. I know Obi. I've heard of his name. I know that he's uh, always been a solid player the last couple of years. Okay. So uh, I know you were mentioning a formation that he's been using. He's on defense now, yeah. but the wing stack uh, okay. is a new formation. That's a really good run set. I like the fact that it's you know not Seahawks and Falcons today. Yes, yes. Well, not in this game. This well, not in this game. There's, there's still a lot of there's still a lot of Seahawks and Falcons. Seahawks, man, they can't stop the run. I can't use the Seahawks. They can't stop the run. Okay. So look up real quick, everybody. This is likes. What's up, man? What's up, guys? Madden Deli, he's been doing it for a minute, very successful, uh, and has stayed true to the community. So we want to make sure, again, that we always promote our guys who are doing stuff. I remember him from when he was a, a younger man. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to say uh, young because I'm, I'm, dude, I'm getting old. I don't like <laughs> to face it. You, but look, I'm, you don't look old, so <laughs> Thank you. you look the same from when I first came in. <laughs> I appreciate it. I just hit 40. Uh... And even though that feel, that's still somewhat young, it's pretty damn old. No, nah, not anymore. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys have been doing um, good work. What I normally do the week of an event. So we found out about the event, let's say, a week and a half ago. So immediately I started saying, okay, I got to get some notes and stuff together just preparation-wise. So I watch a lot of W. I watch a lot of you. So I was looking at your slants video. Okay. So I'm sitting here like, yes, it's, that's extremely accurate what he's saying. The crazy thing, when you start producing content, fellas, the crazy thing is some of the simplest things out there are extremely effective. And people get scared to use it because they look at it as being so simple. But the stuff is, is highly productive for you. Especially this year. Uh, route concepts like spacing. Mm-hmm slants uh literally like anything curl flats yes like curl flats hasn't been people hear the name curl flat and they're like oh this is, this is like a rookie playing but yeah curl flat works yes zones are so good man you gotta if they play the flat you gotta hit the curl yeah. that's it and i used to play um who was it? it was bk not bk it was uh coach coach color so me and coach color used to have some hell games on ncaa football and we had hell games in regular madden and he essentially baptized me into curl flats because all he would do is depending on what hash mark he was on he would he would parallel slants right i had and streak that other uh curl so parallel slants the quick out 
in the street. And he would do it with, it was Maryland when they had Hayward back. And, or he would leave the curl in there because after he got you used to running down deep and just pop you with the curl. So there's a lot of, a lot of different concepts or combinations you can use in that formation. Um, so when, when Lights is telling you to go ahead and take advantage Good of pass it, right there. take care, take advantage of it, man. This man is a professional who does this, not only coming out here to play, but he's also providing content for you guys to be good with. So make sure you guys support my friends over at Madden Delhi. Appreciate that. A lot of good guys on the team. Shout out some of your team members over there. I got Fiasco, Rich. I got a, a lot of pro players now. I did something with Scheman. Okay. Um, he has a new defense out. So uh, we're going to look to do some more stuff with him. Uh, joke goes yes. Madden. A lot, a lot of really good players. Master Gamer. Yeah. Just we, we got a nice little squad, and we're, we're putting out a lot. I'm very, very proud of, of what we're doing right now. The last like two weeks, just nonstop content, man. I've been up since this is the formation. Bun, yes. uh, Gun bun strong right here. Shh. Real, real good set. I like that he's motioning the tight end, and he'll get some runs that way. So automatically versus look at this. Automatically versus any man, and I don't know how many people. I don't think people play too much, man. But versus man, you're going to know immediately who your mismatch is. Versus zone, you, you always have a built-in flood. Yep. Because of just how the formation is set up. And then if you motion over, if you got to run here, you can easily motion over, hike in the middle, get your little halfback inside zone. Or I don't know what different uh, runs they have I believe in there's this a draw formation. in this too. If there's a draw, that's Which is even crazier. Good. Look at that. It's just smart ball, y'all. It's smart ball. There are certain formations in the game that put you at an advantage. There's, like I was telling you guys earlier, when people are running spread formations, um, if it's not a balanced spread, if it's an unbalanced type spread formation, if you go to the boundary of the field or the short side of the field, it's easy to attack it because it's going to show you immediately who the weak link is on defense. So if you build off of that weak side, then you can take it to the strong side or the wide side of the field, you become that much more dominant. Because most people automatically think, oh, he's going to start attacking the wide side of the field. But if you attack that boundary side, it makes going to the wide side that much easier. When well, you think about it, too, like something like bunch, you assume the flood could go to bunch, the bunch mm -hmm. side because it's easy, like you said. Yep. But everyone, like you could have crossing routes going from the bunch side to the, to the other side. Yep. You, it, with bunch, it's very easy to flood both sides, especially with motion. A lot of people utilize like especially in gum bunch week mm -hmm. they'll motion one of the bunch guys to the left and now it's like almost like an even set mm -hmm. it becomes almost like a spread set so uh yeah no bunch is is really effective in 18 in madden 18. yeah this is great man again out here in philadelphia north third street 908 north third street we have our former champion in here akai sitting back he on the couch but he's not on the couch because the little man he's on the couch because he feels like being on the couch he's comfortable he is so comfortable. Then we have Big Gene in the house. We have Joke in the house. We have Little Man in the house. Goes. Oh, Lord. That game started. We have Goals and Big Gene playing. So this game is 28-20. It's a tight game. We will keep it here, but we will be letting you know what's going on with the Big Gene versus Goals. And I believe... Goals is a land in that game. Gene is Seattle. Goals is up 7-0. Goals is a 2-0 a 2-0 record in his group with a plus 34 point differential. He's won both games by 17. So Gene has to do something right here. Hopefully go 2-1. If he wins this game, uh, everybody be a 2-1. Goals already has the better of the point differential, but Gene can make something happen. Gene with the big run in the other game. Takes it down to the 15-yard line. I'm just giving you guys some uh, update. And in this game, oh, he's going to break. He broke that contain. Smart right there. Smash it wants to. He's taking the air out the ball right now. Yeah, I'll be uh, surprised if not a lot of people are using the Vikings. Mm -hmm. Now, why why should more people be using the Vikes? Two good, two fast running backs. Mm -hmm. um, both could, could catch relatively well. All right, so we just switched here to Goes and Gene. Mm -hmm. But Vikings are just overall good. We'll get back into that later. Here you see uh, you see Gene running that deuce close stretch, getting the touchdown, making Lord. this a tie game. Lord. So last last tournament, we were 
listen, I was in on it too, and I, I'm I'm not that good at running. But Gene was running into people, running the ball. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. So Dubby was killing them. Like Gene, you can't do that. That's the new Gene. Gene just running right into people. Gene has sharpened those skills, getting a little wiggle in that hole, and then popping out for that touchdown. Seven seven. So this is the third game of the. Of this group? is the third game. If Gene wins this, he 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 advances. I, he puts everybody at two and one. So it's point differential. And it's really just between them two. Yeah. So I think that group was Gene, Goes, Dreeny, and I'm not sure who the other player was. KGL. Oh, KGL is my guy, right? I forgot about my own my own guy. <laughs> so KGL is a young guy from the Frankfurt area of Philadelphia. I used to coach his brother, one of the best running backs that I've ever seen in my life. Um. And what I'll say is, LaShawn McCoy trained with his brother at our football field. And Shady said he is one of the best backs he's ever seen in his life. That's huge. Uh, back in 2009, 2008, I think it was, when I was coaching Pop Warner, mm -hmm. I think I put out a tape or something that was one of our running backs. Essentially, that guy who I'm talking about, he was number nine at that point, number 20. This guy, they called him Mr. Pop Warner. He was killing everybody in Pop Warner. Um, we've had some. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, touchdown right there, my foes. Now, that's the. I saw a graphic on top of the screen when he was doing that. What's that? It's some type of special pass in this year. I can't remember what it was called. I don't believe he target passed that. Uh, but there is target passing. I think he just did a. Uh, I just think he was just a, a touch high pass. Line. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, but um, KGL is here today. He's trying to start up his own gaming type company. Um, try to give the youth in Philadelphia an opportunity to play from that area. I uh, intro introduced him to this event last tournament and put him around the guys here at Nerd Street, uh, Sirius Mo, some of the other players, Dubby. So he came out to support. So his first time participating, <laughs> he's in with Gene. He's got a goals, yeah. Dreamy, and. Hey, it's, it's baptism by fire. Right. You'll get better just by going through it. So it's a good thing. I just want to make sure I shot him out on the stream so that he, uh, it's probably been a rough day for him, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's a great experience for you. Yeah, man. I mean, you have a veteran in Gene. Mm -hmm. Goes and Drini are relatively new. Like I spoke to, uh, Goes and he's just, ooh. Mm. Goes just started playing a few years ago. Yeah. and And his first year, I think, was... I don't know if it was 16. I believe it was 16. And he was getting crushed in the beginning. And it forced him to get better. So, now I mean, you're only going to get better if you play the best players. Is this the same Goals Madden from used to be Goals Madden? The website? No. Okay. That's somebody different. Right. No. It's, yeah. I, I When I yeah. first heard the name, that's what I that's thought what too. That's what I but, thought it was. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So you got to be a vet to know that name because that was, that was a couple years back. Definitely a couple years back. So, ah. I want to... Briefly talk about Goza's run Go last time in Philly. Go ahead. I felt like he was he, he was the best there. I think in the last event. Okay. He lost to he lost to Mo. Okay. I think that was the final four. Okay. And in my opinion, I think he was very unfortunate with what happened that game. But uh, I mean, it was a, it was a tough battle game. But I don't know. Goza, Goza was looking extremely sharp. So I'm I'm definitely expecting him to make another run okay. here. And again, he's he's feeling comfortable. So it's a good thing. He's already up. He has already has a good point differential. So he's just protecting that right now. Come on, Gene. What can you do? Ooh, that's a yeah. That's contested. Tough throw. That's contested. That's contested. We need Gene to hit his hit his stride here. So, yeah, I'm going to be interested to see how many people still stay with the Seahawks and Falcons. Okay. Because a new patch just came out. I didn't get really Last a chance. Last night, yep. right? Yeah. So, I didn't get a chance to really play too much with it. Mm -hmm. But I know that uh, some things change as far as, like, having conservative on with the running back. Yes. You can still fumble. Re Falcons do have really good running back. So, I could see how you could feel comfortable yeah. with that. But All right. So, fellas, we got 28 seconds left in our initial game. 28-26 between Smash and Obi. Ooh. 
Drag said that he expected Obi. The majority of the chat was saying Obi. And it looks like he has come back and Obi has the ball. You can't be in a better situation than control of your own fate. But we know Minnesota has good defensive linemen, good block shade. You got Barr that can help protect the middle of your field. He just can't get sacked here. Yeah, and you got Harrison Smith in the back. And so what are we going to do here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Make it happen lie. with what? You yeah. Get out of bounds. Jerry Smith. Get oh, out of why do you do that? Why do you do that? What? I mean, I guess he feels like he's in field goal range. So he. Listen. You're going to have to prove that you're going to make that for me. Because you can't run another play. you got to automatically just set up for field goal at that point. See, now Obi's taking the three now because yeah, obviously he has no that. timeouts. And he's not getting iced. Yeah. See, Smash is feeling like, right, at least I have a chance. But in my opinion, I would have uh, drilled it all the way down, mm -hmm. iced him, and then at least made it a difficult kick, especially at a live event. Yes. You know, these live events are different, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen. You got the man on the couch right there. Oh, he he uh, he killed oh, that. That kick. was amazing. Yeah. Oh 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 oh. Can you do it? Can you do it? We're we're at the venue where Akaz hit a 61-yard field goal at the end of the game to win the tournament. Is Smasher trying to set up for the same thing? Will we see history repeat itself? Two events in a row. Five wide verticals. Oh, we had X. Yeah. Four seconds left. This is it. You don't have enough time to really do two. He, he doesn't have time to get into field goal range. He has to go for it all here. Mm, I think he had the vertical. I think uh, Obi was in cover two there. This isn't this isn't Madden Ultimate Team where you have yeah. a million 91 zone guys. I think you got to take that throw. Yes. And that's the thing. People get used to playing certain modes, and you really have to be Ooh, aware of all that. Heat. Uh oh, oh, game. Excellent comeback, Obi. Obi. Very good game. Obi. So shout out to Drag for calling that. Obi with the comeback win. 29-28. Doesn't get much tougher than that. Good job there as we pop back over, fellas.